Hi, it's me, Anya here. Today I'm going to talk about my skincare. And the reason I'm doing it is because I got a request uh, for that specific video. So, if you're not interested, then just stop watching now. <laughs> because I know some of you are not interested in specifically uh, seeing my you know my makeup stuff my beauty stuff my routines things like that um, and are more maybe interested in my health stuff you know i put uh, a lot of different videos uh, right uh, whatever kind of interests me or what's easier to do among the ideas that i might have in my head uh, right so let's get to business um, so uh, what i think about uh, taking care of uh, facial skin uh, so I think more important than the actual specific products is the routine the day-to-day -day routine uh, that you do from year to year to year uh, it adds up uh, and I think it makes a big difference because I have seen my friends now who are you know, getting close to 40, a little bit over 40 in their 30s, uh, and all those mistakes that you did the past 10 years is starting to kind of show on your face. So my, when I talk about mistakes, are the things that you maybe should have done but didn't, uh, maybe because uh, you didn't know any better, you were lazy, maybe you, didn't, you thought you don't have money, I don't know. Uh, so, the majority of my time that I have been living, I, or when I was an adult and started taking care of my face, I used uh, like, like more of the cheap products, like uh, drugstore products. Uh, because I couldn't afford them and then later I didn't know it would make a difference however once I switched from uh, drugstore products uh, to uh, like more like higher-end products and I don't talk about here like hundreds and or thousands of dollars uh, items you know there are very like very very high-end things I'm not talking about that I, like you know I'm not uh, you know, celebrity or something <laughs> afford. Hey, Bosso! Bosso, what are you doing? My pig is making a rack. Let me show you. I think there is something she thinks she might be able to eat and now she's trying to get it. Hey, Bosso, what? No! Bosso, no! No! Oh my god. She's very food oriented. And that pig can eat like morning to evening like that's the main difference between her and the dogs uh like she's easier to take care of than dogs in the sense that she doesn't you don't need to take her for a walk she just goes outside on her own she walks herself she doesn't pee and poo wherever she feels like you know arbitrary in the car she goes only in a very certain uh, place uh she's very clean it's very easy to take care of i feel like it's less work uh, than it would be with a dog. However, it's the food part. She just wants to eat non-stop. It's amazing. Like if you throw something, a wrapper or something uh, in a trash can, she will go after it. She will try to find it and then chew on it, you know, uh, like plastic wrapper or something. Uh, it's bad. Stop it, Bosso. Don't go back there. Like she smells something there that I threw into the trash can now she's going after it stop it Bosso stop it unbelievable and it's not like she's hungry I have been giving her too much already today like the problem with pigs is that they if you keep like feeding them the way they would want to they would uh, basically you know die literally they would just eat themselves to death it's a problem. Um, now the issue is that I started just having my lunch, which is here in front of me, and I wanted to finish a video before I actually finish my lunch, and she can smell it, I guess, and it's driving her nuts. 
Oh my god. Okay, so let me get it. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, she's calming down a bit. Okay, sorry. Uh, let me get back to the video here. Right, so... Uh, whatever, right? Uh, like, yeah, the day-to-day -day thing is... Uh, you need to uh, continue taking care of things. And the other thing is what I noticed was that when I did start using more expensive things, uh, but also like more things, I would say, uh, then my face started looking better. Uh, it's not like it was bad before, but there was like more, it was more wider, more plump, I don't know, like more just, I don't know, younger, I guess, like more happy. No, it's like there's a difference. Like there, like there was like the skin was a little bit dull before, and then it's like it woke up. Uh, so there is a difference. Uh, I would say that I definitely believe in spending a little bit more money uh, on things. It's kind of like you get what you pay for. Of course, you have to pay attention to things. Uh, what I've noticed is that, as I said, it's not the specific. Uh, products, which I think is like a good news, is that uh, there are a lot of products out there and a lot of them are good products. So it's not like just one and only thing. And so I'm just going to give like overview uh, of some of the things I do use, but I, I really don't have favorites. I have to say because I have had those beauty bo boxes coming and I have been using, trying these guys out. Uh, also, I have tried uh, ordering different things uh, from Nordstrom. Um, that's my usually go-to place. Uh, and I would say, uh, yeah, like, if I spend a little bit more money, I usually uh, feel um, that it makes more difference. However, there are, like, not all of them are not like that. I have had some disappointments too. Also remember that I uh, get chemo, right? I'm all, all the time on chemo and I don't think it necessarily shows off on my face. Of course, if I wouldn't get chemo, my face would be better. So right now I'm not wearing anything. Uh, I just wanted to show this is how I look uh, without makeup. Um, so yeah, I think if I wouldn't have to take all those horrible drugs, I probably would look better. Like, you know, especially like under eye area shows off when I'm not um, well. Like when I get better, like my health gets better, under eye areas show less, uh, like show up less. Uh, but all that stuff I feel like I can hide with my uh, makeup when necessary. Right, but I do, of course there is a difference, like uh, the better your uh, face skin looks, basically the, you know, the convoy for the makeup, uh, the better the makeup looks, right, and the less makeup you will need. Uh, that's definitely true. So I don't go and have facials. Um, Mostly because I don't have money for them and also I don't know if they would make any difference. I have had some facials when I was younger. My mom paid for them. So they were in my country and looking back at them, I think they did not do anything. They mostly like just squeezed my pimples and did some, you know, put maybe some masks or something on. but. I don't think they made maybe a difference. I didn't, you know, I didn't see anything, uh, and probably might have been a waste of money. But I might be completely wrong. So what I'm saying is I don't do facials. However, I have done Botox, or you know, maybe I'm not pronouncing it uh, the correct way in English. Botox, 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 whatever, <laughs> Botox. Uh, so I have done it only on this line here. So I started getting this line between my uh, eyebrows, uh, early 20s. And I have now done Botox on this line, I don't know, years? 
I definitely did it before my I had I was pregnant. Did it couple times, I think. So my daughter is seven and a half years old now. Uh, and then I didn't do it for a while because you know during pregnancy I didn't do it uh, and I think yeah there was several years I didn't do it and then I got cancer I got basically busy with my life but then I started doing it again and now I don't do it as often I should probably uh, probably I should do it like three to four times a year but I'm doing it one to two times a year and I should actually go again um, I don't know if you see it so right now I can do this so if I would have a Botox on my face I would not be able to do this basically they do like shots into these muscles and then you cannot uh, like squeeze them together anymore uh, it wears off quite fast I would say, say in three months or so uh, but I believe it has made a difference I think it would have been very very deep this line Right now, it's about the same I had it when I was in my early 20s. So it does uh, make a difference. Uh, probably, you know, if I would have money, I would have fillers and this and that, you know. Something a little bit, because you, uh, you, I do believe in those things. Uh, you don't have to be Michael Jackson, right? Uh, it does make a difference, you just don't have to go overboard. But a little bit here and there, uh, you know, makes uh, a miracle, I think. Because if you look at the celebrities and they stay young for decades and don't look super bad, it's because they don't go overboard with it. But they definitely do it, right? Stop it, Bosso. <clears throat> okay, so let's get uh, back to uh, doing the daily... Uh, routine. Uh, uh, I have to say is that when I was traveling, like recently, I went to travel. I, I was away almost three weeks. Uh, I actually was, I would say, the f first weekend, week and a half, I was a little bit overwhelmed and I got a little lazy and I didn't do my daily uh, uh, routine. Uh, for taking care of my face uh, and that's because uh, yeah I was uh, I was a little bit too tired we went uh, here and there a lot we moved around a lot and there were days when at the end of the day I literally fall to the bed all my clothes on makeup on I just fall asleep and woke up like that so there were a couple nights where I did wash off my makeup something I never ever do uh, also there were a couple times where I didn't uh, so I packed everything with me but sometimes because we moved around especially the first part of the traveling uh, I didn't necessarily unpack my stuff or I didn't bother going to the suitcase to go find uh, the things that I, I would use normally like so several times I ended up washing my face with regular soap uh, I just basically and sometimes just with water and then I just quickly uh, throw on some moisturizing cream right, that I had back with me and I don't even know what it was and sometimes I didn't put cream I just put like some serum uh, whatever I kind of grabbed very really quickly uh, and I noticed after a week, week and a half there was a difference on my face it was dull, uh, I started getting a little bit pimples and I was like, oh no, it actually makes a difference what I do every day. It's not just for fun. Like, I could notice there's a serious difference. I was like, oh no, I have to get back on my routine. Okay, and so what is my routine? So I would say my routine, I would uh, divide it into three parts. A, let's say A, B and C. So A part would be cleansing. Uh, B part would be, let's call it extra stuff, and C part would be uh, creaming, creams. Right, so the first part, cleansing, uh, I think that's very, very important. Um, so as I say, oh my god, also, what are you doing? Also, 
So let's look at the pig for a second. She's just chewing this rope for whatever reason. Oh, bosso, bosso, bosso. This container is for uh, posters, like if uh, sometimes we would go to conferences, put the posters inside it. So cleansing is definitely necessary to do both morning and evening. At least for me it makes a difference. Um, uh, so like, I don't just wash my face with water in the morning, for example, because you might think, oh, I have no makeup on or something. Definitely not, not the case. Uh, I think there is like, all sorts of stuff that ends up being on your face, like grease, uh, grease, I guess, or some, I don't, whatever, like this, this is stuff by the morning on your face that I think you need to get rid of. Right, so there's basically different cleansers and I think they all have a purpose. Like, uh, so, okay, so what I would use in the morning. Uh, we just use something as, like a uh, regular just face cleanser, let's just say, like cleansing foam for example. I got it recently from one of the beauty boxes. And right, so I'm, again I'm saying this is, uh, I like this brand and again I'm saying it's not specifically this brand that I, brand that I would uh, recommend, I would say use something that is meant to wash your face that is a cleansing for your face right uh, i don't necessarily always use something that is like abrasion abrasion for your skin but sometimes i might do so uh one brand that i like is so it's basically exfoliation um is from dr brand microderma abrasion is the fine exfoliator this guy and I'm also all the products I'm using here I'm going to make a put it underneath a video just make a list right so this brand I do like uh, and even if you just get like a sample like I have the same thing as a sample uh, I think I got maybe this from Sephora with points or something even this size lasts you forever because you just need like a B size one that I've used for a long time now, because it's just a, such a big bottle, is uh, from Philosophy. Also, stop doing that, right? And I would say, like, this is not necessarily... So it's exfoliating facial, and there is one that's just regular facial wash. It just gets the stuff, uh, job done. That's all you need. And if you want to, like, uh, increase the experience or make it even better. Hey, stop it! My posso, my pig is messing around with a... Stop it! I guess she realized it's like she wants to play with it. Stop doing that, baby. Stop doing that, posso. I need to give her something to play with. So let me come back. I give her some empty boxes or something like that. Oh, I went and got my baby pig. Remember, she's still one year old. She's not a fully grown pig yet. It takes three years for them to grow up. She's still like a baby. I think she's going to get smarter as we go. She's not going to grow much more, but but I think she will develop like a children. Because they, see, the bees are supposed to be three to four year old. Smartness, right? I would say she's more like one or two year old child smartness at the moment. Oh, okay. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, if you want to increase the cleansing experience, uh, so you can use one of those facial machines, facial cleanser machines. I'm using Foreo. I also have uh, Clarisonic. I have had this machine forever and ever, and I didn't use it forever and ever. Uh, so at the moment it actually has this uh, different head on. This is something that you can use to uh, put on a foundation on your face. And it does actually work really nicely. Uh, I would say much better than I do with a uh, brush. I cannot really do very well a uh, good job with putting on foundation with a brush for some reason. But Blender works very well for me and I would say this maybe works as best, uh, as good as Blender, however, it's like, then I have to buy like a nude 
head for it. Its head is quite expensive and this is only one head, right? I have to wash it like constantly. I suppose to I have several blenders so I can, you know, have a different blender every day. And then at the end of the week, I can just wash all five of them. I suppose to I have only one head of this because it's relatively expensive and want to buy more of them. And then I would have to wash it every single time I want to put makeup on. So, uh, yeah, that's actually, I would say, one of the downfalls with uh, Clarisonic is that you have to change the head, like you have to keep buying new heads, like if you want to, there's a different head that just to wash your face, because, um, like, it gets too much bacteria over time or something, uh, while well, this guy is, like, resistant to all this stuff. Uh, mold and mildew and bacteria and something apparently uh, so I thought that's like easier and there's also a mini version of it which I haven't tried I was uh, planning to buy a mini version of this guy but then there was a sale like for a short period of time that ended up me costing the big one uh, as little as the mini version was so I just ended up buying this guy Right, uh, uh, I love it. I think it's very easy. Uh, I think I judged it when I got it like almost a year ago and I haven't had to judge it ever since, which is like ridiculous, I think. So I like it. You don't have to have it, you don't have to add it. But you know, I, I feel like it makes a difference, especially sometimes when I can't get makeup off completely. I know that when I use this, the makeup comes off like foundation air there everywhere definitely not in eyes and eye area i use different uh products like specifically to take off eye makeup uh, and i use just uh cotton balls right uh so that's the cleansing part uh definitely take your makeup off i would say never ever leave it on that's very important so it's not just you wash uh, wash your face in the morning uh, oh, so yeah, I was talking about that's different versions like you do uh, microdermabrasion, which I do every now and then. Like, I would say like I do twice a week, I would do with microdermabrasion and maybe once or twice I do something with uh, lactic acid treatment. So basically something that we, the cleanser has um, like, I don't know if it's going to focus, but something that has like an acid. Lactic acid is something, for example, that is used uh, to uh, just peel off again the extra layer uh, of your skin but you don't want to do it too much because you don't want to do it like uh, every day I would feel like it's maybe going overboard and that's why uh, I don't do them every day uh, when I feel like <laughs> on the days when I don't use this abrasion of my face I just use uh, like a regular one right. and again I want to say I don't have a favorite. I know you guys may be wondering like, what's the best? I don't know what's the best. I think there's a lot of good ones. And I do notice that uh, if you pay a little bit more, uh, it pays off more. Uh, and definitely, definitely um, when you see, like if you go like to, uh, on a website online to start buying something for yourself, the more reviews, the better reviews, it does make a difference. Like something, you know, like you cannot go wrong if you just buy some a classic or something right so yeah to so make uh, taking off makeup so I would say like necessarily these guys are not the best for taking off makeup like they get the job done is especially if you use this guy however I like more something that is actually made to take off like a cleanser that helps to take off your makeup uh, also I like cleansers that have oil in them I have one upstairs oh, I'm too tired to go get it <laughs> it doesn't matter it's just but it's very gentle but it helps uh, like oily cleansers I think it helps more uh, to uh, get the I guess the makeup looser to come off uh, but this is something I just recently found and I, I had exactly the same uh, this is green clean I had two samples of this I guess I got them from beauty boxes sometimes the different beauty boxes send the same stuff like they, I don't know why but I had two of them I used one up during my travels I didn't know I had the second one I was so happy when I found it uh, at home uh, because I wanted to actually buy it because this is something that really uh, it's 
pharmacy. Makeup melt away cleansing pulse. So basically makeup really melts away. It's very nice. It's really good thing. A nourishing glazing balm that erases makeup and gently leaves away impurities caused by pollution. I don't know if it's what do you call it? Pharmaca pharma cultivated, scientist activated. Well, I don't know. So this is something I really like. I would say one of the uh, maybe the best ones I have tried definitely to get makeup off. And also this is something I'm uh, apparently this is very good. Um, because it, it, the boxy jump did a huge uh, uh, campaign for it. I get the boxy jump. You're going to get the clam glow makeup remover. So this is daily conditioning cleanser, and this is apparently good to uh, remove makeup. Blend it with oat amino acids. Uh, condition deep cleanse uh, face makeup remover. Uh, I tried it like one time. It gets the job done. Uh, I would say this is my favorite and I might actually end up buying it even though I have so many cleansers so that's I would say yeah is enough with cleansers uh, in summary I kind of went too far with it uh, talking about uh, definitely cleanse morning evening get your makeup off uh, for sure okay so next uh, step I had was this extra stuff stuff uh, which I realized that actually I think this is also like very important for me uh, because I definitely didn't do it during my travels for the first week and a half something like that and there was a difference so there was definitely a difference so right uh, what's the extra stuff uh, masks I do them every other day every well, sometimes every two days uh, Right, so masks, I think the main thing for me, the masks, what they do is just extra hydration. Really something uh, that's very, very important. Hydrate your skin, it makes a difference. And the other one is using um, serums. Right, so serums are something like it's more concentrated stuff uh, than uh, creams, but they're more liquid usually. So this is my rep, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, this is Estee Lauder on one night repair. This is really I have used it for maybe 10 years uh, On and off uh, Often I actually I don't even necessarily buy it uh, often. I've just gotten like so small samples of it with something buying something uh, And this lasts quite a long time because it's relatively liquidy. You don't need a lot of it um Right, and also uh, the third that you could add might be uh, facial oils. So here is something uh, that's really expensive from uh, Darfin. I think this is uh, from A Flower Nectar uh, oil, and it cost me hundred fifty dollars. I still have it. I have a little, a little bit less left. I don't know. Maybe it made a difference. My difference in my face looks uh, better. Uh, it didn't really smell as good as I thought. Uh, would I buy it again? No, it's $150 for this small amount. Come on. I was a little bit But I was like at the time I was like I I want to experience that that's like something I deserve it and I don't know if I would buy it again. Uh, I was happy that I bought it Yeah, so I'm just showing it as one of the possibilities as oil. So recently I got uh, from Sunday Riley, that's from one of the beauty boxes. Uh, this is vitamin C turmeric face oil, and this is yeah. What does it say? Also has evening primrose. So a idea is to brighten, hydrate, glow. You know, make you look better. All the stuff. So usually those oils or serums, uh, they just make your face look. So a lot of uh, what I have had also that I like to use is from Cloud Cloudali. For some reason, I have so many serums on them. Uh, I have gotten them. Uh, so I probably have had like four or five serums of these. I have definitely used. I used one uh, during my travel. I think it gets the job done. Whatever the whatever it has in it. So right. So serum is just to kind of give extra stuff to your face to make it look good whatever it might be hyaluronic acid or c vitamin 
right something extra or you can also have every now and then something like overnight peel with uh, alpha hydroxy acids so these are kind of um, yeah I should have actually put them in I don't know if they're like I would really call them cleansers like they're like exfoliation but they are more stronger exfoliations than uh, like the daily stuff would be like this for example is 25% of uh, AHA plus 2% uh, of BHA so these are different acids and it says to use only once weekly so why do you want to exfoliate you just want to get that uh, old skin off and of course once you get that one off uh, your face just looks nicer brighter and when you use any kind of serums things like that they just go into your skin better that's just how it is and yeah and this is overnight peel okay so this is uh, derma essential so it doesn't again matter which uh, they are this is something you can definitely just use they're different there's so many different ones uh, Paula's Choice is one that is one of my favorites. I actually got a cream from, uh, I think that Nordstrom has used, uh, has good deals that when you buy something, uh, you get often uh, like a little extra something. And so I got some extra stuff. Uh, see, I have a serum, Retiron Serum. Uh, then salis salicylic acid anti-aging eye gel okay so these extra small uh, samples usually uh, so because even if you get like one or two weeks worth of stuff extra is extra stuff that you didn't pay for and I always try to get it yeah so in summary the extra stuff would be uh, like uh, masks to just extra hydration uh, extra good stuff they ha might have uh, then second thing is uh, Serums. Uh, so serums, where, when do I apply that? After I have washed my face and before I put a cream on, I put a serum on, right? Or instead of serum, you can also use uh, oil, uh, like special uh, facial oils, like I had here, right? And I don't use serum, oil, or mask on the same day, just in case I don't want to overload with things. So I do one of them, like, uh, and often I do them both morning and evening. Sometimes I do it just once a day uh, before I put the cream on after the facing, uh, wash facing. And then I try to also do this guy, which is this Clopro needle thingy, right? And I don't do it every day. I do it a couple times, two, three times a week. I try to do it. Sometimes I do weeks. Just don't do it because uh, it doesn't really take a long time but I'm like I don't know I just get lazy but the uh, idea is that this helps to get stuff get into your skin layers better that's the idea and I think it actually makes a difference and that's why I should actually use it and you use it before you put on serum or oil or something on a mask or something like that or cream and so the third part so A part was cleansing B part is the extra stuff and C part I would say is a uh, cream right and so there would be eye cream area and face uh, cream that's also for neck and decollete like don't forget these areas right is eye cream uh, really necessary uh, I think it is actually uh, what I noticed it when I don't use it uh, my under eye area uh, gets too dry regular facial creams are not uh, hydrating enough for the eye area. They say that some eye creams are supposed to like reduce the under eye uh, darkness. I don't know if they do that. Uh, I know if I want to get rid of these, I hide them. I just have to put uh, foundation, corrector, concealer on top of it. That's what I have to do. So I definitely put on cream on my face morning and evening and actually uh, definitely during the day uh, I, ha I wear sunscreen and I don't understand women who don't put on sunscreen. Uh, it's a must. I know that they say, oh it makes some white, it looks white, yada yada blah 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 or it causes acne. Well go look around, find something that works for you because 
sun is the number one thing that's going to mess up your face so right so what I have used and I have used it like again more than 10 years probably uh, is Shiseido with sunscreen 50 uh, plus so I have used it I sometimes I've gone you know stopped using it and try something else and I always come back to that recently I got these two sun uh, screens these are both from Korea uh, I have to say I have used I have tried different lotions creams serums from Korea I have several beauty boxes that come from Korea and I have to say I don't like them I don't think they work as well as the stuff I have used uh, otherwise that I have gotten from America I don't know where they're made necessarily but I have bought from America right and so I don't necessarily like Korean stuff. Um, now I'm going to try these things. I'm going to give them a chance. They're both 50 plus uh, and hope they will work as well as this guy. But you know, I have no guarantee of it. So yeah, it's just something that I have them and then I, once this, I run out of this guy, I don't have to buy a new one. I just want to give these guys a chance. But I don't have like a lot of confidence in uh, face, facial items that come from Korea. I know some women like them. Uh, they might be better than maybe drugstore stuff. I don't even, I have no clue how much uh, these things cost. Like all this stuff here is in Korea and I don't even know what's inside this stuff, so I don't know. I don't think I have like creams that for night creams that are like my favorite. I have to say some of them do it, some of them don't. Uh, so I would say SLR stuff I have tried. It's just not, I don't know, it's not doing something for me. It's revitalizing Supreme Plus. Uh, this is specifically for eyes. I had also a bigger version that was for the whole face. Mm, I don't know, you can kind of... It wasn't as good. So, now, uh, then I got... I was sent... Uh, a, a beauty box sent me Eleni's Pro Collagen Marine Cream anti wrinkle Day Cream. I don't know what it has inside it. I don't have the box with me. Uh, but I feel like this is better than uh, Estee Lauder one. Also what is really good uh, is uh, Poppy Brown Hydrating Intense Night Cream. Uh, those two I like. Uh, I haven't used a lot of different ones so I don't have a favorite. I have used Elizabeth Arden ones. Uh, this is specifically, these capsules are for eyes. This actually says serum. I don't remember if I had actually the like, cream in it. Uh, I'm not like the biggest fan of it. I guess it gets the job done. Uh, I got a really good deal with like a lot of like I bought one thing I got a lot of stuff for free. That's usually actually what I learned now that uh, it's not necessarily a good sign. <laughs> uh, I would say it's not my favorite Elizabeth Arden. It's not my favorite. Uh, I have tried it enough. Estee Lauder is not my favorite. I have tried it enough to be able to say that. Uh, what I do suggest using is something that has retinol in it. So retinol is something that has proven to show. This is actually Paul's Choice uh, skincare. It has 1% retinol treatment. Uh, retinol is something that is proven to reduce wrinkles, also has shown to fight acne. And you can actually even get a prescription from uh, a dermatologist uh, from just a retinol cream. I have tried it, but the problem is it's extremely irritating, and so you're better off buying um, cosmetic uh, cream uh, that is basically still has retinol, maybe not as much, but uh, still effective, and they're made so that they don't actually irritate the skin, like like the skin is able to like almost the same amount of retinol, but the skin can just handle it better is what uh, there is. So yeah, so I try to use re something that has retinol. Paul's Choice is one of my favorites because it has all sorts of things that has like uh, those acids that are like good for your skin. Uh, so one thing I wanted to say is my skin 
type. I guess you would call it a normal skin type. So technically, everybody is supposed to have a normal skin type, but some people have uh, oily, some have combination, some have dry skin. I don't know, I get the feeling, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you're supposed to, everybody's supposed to have a normal skin uh, and if something is out of order, your skin is not normal. Something is causing it to be too greasy, too dry, something like that, maybe it's hormones, something is unbalanced, something is not right. Um, so also I do believe that what you put in your mouth also makes a difference, maybe not a lot. Uh, I do notice that when I eat a lot of like greasy stuff, like pizza or something like really, really greasy stuff, uh, that uh, my face gets more greasy, like this area, the T-zone, actually starts getting more greasy. Uh, and I can't believe it every time, but it, it's true, it, it's, it's, it, there is a thing uh, there. Also, definitely drink a lot of water. That is not a myth, it's true. It does make uh, your skin look better. And also eat fresh vegetables and fruit every day. Like you need vitamins, minerals, you need good stuff to make that skin good. You know? Acne. I used to have acne when I was a teenager and when I was a young woman, a young adult. And only thing that worked, I tried absolutely everything. I tried different, uh, so I went to dermatologist and she tried different things, which I hate that she did it because nothing worked. Uh, what I have to find from a uh, prescription for pharmacy and all this stuff, it was, some of it was very stinky, it was, you know, it was just horrible stuff, some of this. Uh, also, I, uh, right, I think I mentioned I took antibiotics, which is not good for your body at all. And then I did some kind of treatments. Her nurse did that where it's, I think it was with liquid nitrogen that she just kind of, uh, like there was this cloth on top of a stick. She stuck it into a liquid nitrogen. I think that's what it must have been. Uh, and then she just with, uh, like went over my skin with that thing. That did nothing. I don't know what that was supposed to do. And then finally she uh, gave me a prescription for Accutane and it worked. And then it worked for years and years and years until actually I... So I don't know if that's what caused it but I got to know pimples back and uh, I don't know. So right before the pimples started coming back was uh, I had used Plan B and I had had some, uh, had been drinking like alcohol regularly uh, for a couple months and something I had never done before. Um, and I don't know if they had an effect, maybe they did, a hormonal effect, something went out of whack. And so I went back on Accutane for a very short period of time, very small, small amount, very short period of time compared to the first time and again everything went back to normal and I have had no problems uh, with my skin ever since. I mean like it went normal, like it wasn't too dry, too crazy, nothing, no pimples, nothing, everything is just perfect. So yeah, like if you're struggling with acne, uh, so there is absolutely nothing that uh, works as well 